Welcome to Highline Excel class number 46. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 8, uh, Business 214. If you're in the class, just go to our class website. Hey, our last lookup function we're going to talk about is choose. And choose is great because if you have lookup values that are integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you can actually um, do a use the choose function and just type your values into the choose function. And the choose function can look up text, numbers, formulas, or even references. So the choose function is a great situation when you have lookup tables that are on three different sheets. Now I've done other videos where we've done uh, indirect function and, and a few other methods for uh, different lookup tables on different sheets, but this choose one's going to be pretty spectacular and will avoid uh, volatile functions like the indirect. Let's look at a simple example for choose first. I want to randomly select names. I have five names equals choose. Now it's got an index number and then value, value, value. Those just means you could put the actual cell reference or formula or range of cells, name, defined names, text, uh, or numbers. We're going to uh, type ours in, but we need an index number, the numbers 1 to whatever number of values we have. Now we have five names, so I'm going to I'm going to do uh, this part of the formula that randomly selects between 1 and 5. Int for integer, rand, which selects the number between 0 and 1, multiply it by 5, uh, but this will sometimes give us zero because rand generates can generate a number really close to zero. So we we'll always have to add one. So that's the random number generator. Now I'm going to type a comma and the value. I'm going to type the first one, S I U X SU, comma, and then the second one. And notice how the screen tip says now give me value two. This one will be Joe. The next one will be uh, Joe. And I'm typing the text in, so it has to be in uh, double quotes. The next one will be Sue. And the final one will be Fred. All right, so there we go. Let's choose. What's uh, great is you could just put the values there. And, and our first example is text. We're just typing text in. Now if I hit the F9 key, randomly select those names. Now let's look at just a great use for uh, the choose, we have three tables and date, customer type, and items. And we have a, a shipping fee here. We have to go and name our tables and then use the numbers one to three to designate our tables. So let's go over here. I'm going to highlight the range and come up to the name box and type table one, enter. Come over here and type table two. Notice I have it highlighted. And then right here, highlighted table three. Now I should be able to use the name box to go between these. Now I'm going to come over to choose equals choose. Index number. Ah, the an X, whenever you see a situation, a lookup situation where you have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., then choose can be used. So I have a 2, a 1, and a 3. So there's the, whatever is two cells to our left will tell us which table to get. And then you have to put them in in the right order. Uh, comma, value 1. I'm going to hit the F3 key, F3 key to paste a name, double click. Comma, the F3 key, double click. Notice what we're doing is we're putting named ranges in here. So they can be defined names like we did here, or ranges, or cells. So that's pretty cool. These value arguments really know the difference between text, numbers, uh, cell references, and formulas, as we'll see. I'm going to close parentheses, and boom. Oh, but that's not going to work, because that will select the table we need to put this inside of a uh, lookup function. So I'm going to hit the F2 key. All this does is select a table. If I don't, if we highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can sh we can see that it gives us that particular table. Uh, looks like uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to click Escape because I don't want to hard code that in. 
But all we have to do now is put this inside either the index or VLOOKUP. I'm going to do VLOOKUP because they're set up as a VLOOKUP. So the choose is just delivering the um, table array. Our lookup value is going to be this items right here. Actually, let's uh, go look over here at table one. See, what we're doing is we're looking up this number of items and then returning whatever the fee is. The more items, the lower the fee. So we need inside the VLOOKUP, I need uh, this value right here, comma. Notice because I went over to that other sheet and looked, uh, it's putting in a sheet reference and I don't want it. All I want is VLOOKUP to take D13 and look up, oh yeah, this will select the right table depending on what's there. Now, the table is set up so that what we want to return is in the second column, so I'll put a 2. And we don't need the final argument for VLOOKUP because the default one is true, approximate match, which is what we want, close parentheses. And that right there is how to use VLOOKUP with three tables using the choose function. Double click and send it down. And sure enough, uh, the choose function is selecting the right table. So this is uh, table one, 3,853 should be 475. And sure enough, it's uh, exactly 3,000 is between here, so it returns 475. We come over here to this one right here. 2,000 on table 2 should be exactly uh, six, uh, 575 because it's somewhere in between here. So choose to select a range of values. How about choose to, again, like we did in our first example, put various responses. So we have 1 to uh, 5.9 here, and we need a rating. And actually, if you scroll over here, you can see I put the rating here, very bad, bad, OK, good, very good. So we'll use choose. And notice, these are numbers. 1 to whatever will give a, will, can, can be used by the choose. Now, choose will round these down to the integer, so it really takes the integer. So 1.1 1, 1 .1 will be 1, 2.5 will be uh, two. So I'm going to click one cell to my left, comma, and then the values I want, I'm going to control V because I already typed those out. You just type them in. Another great use because you can just type the things right into the formula separated by commas. Those are just arguments. Now we can control enter and double click and send it down. So 5.9 got the very good. That was the last one. All of these numbers are, in essence, 1 to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1 to 5, because 5 is the highest, because the choose will uh, take this 5.9 and only show 5. Now let's put a uh, 10 in here. I think I put uh, data validation, so we're only allowed 1 to 5.9 in this range. So that's another good use for the choose. Our final example for choose it will be the fact that we can have two different formulas or functions put into the cell by the choose. Now what we have here is we select two here, we want to average these values. If we select one, we want to sum. So equals choose, this right here, and then the value one, two, they can be formulas or functions or whatever. Uh, number one is going to be sum, so I'm going to type sum, control shift down arrow, close parentheses, that sum function, or whatever formula put there, that's value 1. I'm going to type a comma. And value 2 will be average. And we'll select our same range here if I can get it, uh, h22 to h34, close parentheses, and then close parentheses on the choose. So choose, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever uh, integers you're putting in here. Uh, this time, we're going to select amongst two different functions. So now if I change this to 2, it calculates the uh, average. If I select 1, it does the sum. So choose, we chose amongst two functions. Choose, we chose amongst five text options and saw that the choose uh, takes just the integer. Uh, this great example here, VLOOKUP with using choose to select between three tables. We did have our number reference as a column in our table, so that was a great use there. And uh, how to select randomly five names typed into the choose. All right, uh, that's it for uh, week eight here. 
Uh, we'll see you next week.